food and beverage companies are not making us sick. It's our unchecked vices and our ignorance of entrepreneurship that makes us sick. Searching the internet, you will find videos, articles, and blogs depicting the evilness of the food industry. Companies are usually depicted in one of two ways. 1. Companies are, intentionally, working in concert to produce food that is causing disease, i.e., childhood obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. 2. Companies are producing good and bad food. It is up to us to select the good food from among the options presented. While sharing their findings, authors provide very little, fair, discussion about how an industry comes into being. When they do, the root cause usually involves an industry-wide conspiracy. In truth, the business paradigm, in general, begins with us, dot the customer. It starts with our natural inclination towards a healthy self-image, anger, sex, interest in others, food, profit, and rest. If these inclinations become excessive, as you know, they evolve into pride, wrath, lust, envy, gluttony, avarice, and sloth, respectively. When we encounter situations or obstacles that halt or impeded our inclinations or wants, the situation represents an opportunity for change. An entrepreneur is a person who hunts for these opportunities. They look for ways to remove impediments, reduce the effort involved, and or deliver additional benefits. Once an entrepreneur demonstrates, via sales, that she or he is able to deliver value in a given situation, other entrepreneurs are drawn to that situation. They look for additional ways to deliver value based on process, demographics, new knowledge, etc. They are motivated to help deliver on our wants, reduce our grievances, and simultaneously make a profit. Here is an example. A strawberry harvesting takes place between June to September. Surveys, or observations, indicate that customers want to eat sweet, bright red, strawberries all year round. In comes entrepreneur number one, who saw strawberries from other countries with different growth cycles. Entrepreneur number two, uses food dyes to help the strawberries maintain its appeal. Entrepreneur number three, uses artificial sweeteners to make sure all of the fruits are equally sweet. Entrepreneur number four, use hydrogen peroxide to extend the fruit's shelf life. End result, as each entrepreneur successively enters the market, they are looking to improve upon the previous actions taken. This layering, to some, appears conspiratorial in nature. In reality, it is the result of business people working hard to deliver on their customers' wants. Their goal is to help, not hurt. To combat this phenomenon, we may want to consider taking the following actions. 1. Eat food when it is naturally available. If a particular food is out of season, eat another item that is in season. 2. Answer surveys carefully. Remember that telling a business what you want may not result in the business delivering on your wants in the way you expect. 3. Try not to become totally dependent on someone else for your food. Grow some foods and swap with others doing the same thing. What do you think?